Sexual Health Week is observed from the second full Monday to Sunday in September. This year it takes place from September 11 to 17. As part of National Sexual Health Awareness Week, we are highlighting the importance of treating our sexual health as seriously as we would any other aspect of our health, including regular checkups, testing for HA, and sexually transmitted infections, STEs, and raising awareness about issues related to healthy relationships. Talking about sex can be quite embarrassing and even with advancements made to reduce the stigma. There is still some stigma attached to sex. Also, some people don't have enough knowledge about safe sex practices. That said, let's take a closer look at Sexual Health Week, aiming to keep everyone updated regarding sexually transmitted infections, SETEs, as well as sex education, Brooke, a UK-based charity, holds a Sexual Health Week across England to raise awareness of these issues. As a result of the Children and Social Work Act 2017, which established the criteria for the education of relationships and sex education in schools, the government devised a plan to make it match-free from 2019, with an option to extend the deadline to September 2020 if necessary. Relationships and sex education are now required in all schools, including primary, independent, academies, maintained, and free schools. Under the new legislation, special education facilities are also included in the new legislation. Sexual Health Week was born out of the belief that everyone deserves a great sex life and that no one should be criticized for it. Sexual health and well-being information should be widely accessible. They consider that everyone has the opportunity to make educated decisions about their bodies and know their alternatives. In previous years, the week has also focused on issues that affect a large number of people, such as alcohol and sexual health, as well as talking to spouses about, about, as talking to spouses about contraception. In 2010, the very first sexual health campaign aimed at people over 50 was launched. In recent years, there has been an increased worry in the country about children being introduced to sex at an early age. The appearance of sensual themes in popular music videos has increased in recent years. While abortion is lawful in England, Wales, and Scotland under the Abortion Act, homosexuality is legal in England, Wales, and Scotland under the Sexual Offenses Act. In previous years, the week has also focused on issues that affect a large number of people, such as alcohol and sexual health, as well as talking to spouses about contraception. In 2010, the very first sexual health campaign aimed at people over 50 was launched. Thanks for watching.